Hey, hey, welcome to my channel. I'm Elma. Thank you so much for joining me for this video. You've seen it from the title. Today, we're going to be window shopping on Trend Mood. This is not a new concept at all. Basically, I'm going to be going through Trend Mood and seeing like new makeup launches. I'm telling you my thoughts on them. If yes or no, it's something I might be interested in picking up. I'm hoping to do these at least once a month if you enjoy them. And uh, yeah, let's get into this. Before you go get yourself a drink, make sure you subscribe to my channel and yeah let's get comfortable like I have my little drink here and yeah let's hang out together and talk about makeup I gotta tell you something I could do juice with some rum from Cuba oh anyway let's get into this the first thing that I see are the Jaclyn Hill cosmetics lip products so what are these called they're called the pout spoken lip collection $20 each long wearing 15 shades high pigment luxe matte finish vanilla scent listen this is giving me 2016 Kylie lip kit like if they're as comfortable as like this lip product that i'm wearing which is the liquid lipstick from um, rare beauty okay because i find it very ballsy to come out with lip first off i find it very ballsy that she's coming out with lip products without addressing the whole fiasco from the last time one two just bringing out lip products in general and three matte liquid lipsticks like <laughs> I don't find it innovative but then again I guess that you know when you have a setback like you did you're obligated to you know come back better I'm not saying she's not redeemable but I'm just saying I would just like her to address everything anyway I just think it's a shady launch and that nobody should buy anything until she apologizes and explain what the f happened with those lipsticks because I don't understand how you can just like willy-nilly just prance in here and be like i'm a girl boss and not address anything you know new revealed new collaboration morphe brushes x avani pass just just pass i'm not even interested color pop lemon cello collection this looks very cute but listen this is my thing with color pop like i've heard so many horror stories in regards to like customer service with ColourPop and Canada, Quebec in general. So when it comes to ordering from other things, like if I cannot be bothered to go through that hassle, even though they seem to really have some dope things, but like you see my problem with ColourPop is the same problem I have with Fashion Nova. It's fast fashion and all I see is like it's beautiful. I see how it can appeal. I love the price tag. However, it's too much. You would think that, you know, would, but no, it's a nice, like it's honestly when it comes to like unpointness of ColourPop and like themes and stuff like that, I'm always amazed by it. I'm just like, oh, this is cute, but I'm never pushed to buy anything from ColourPop. W fragrance, honestly, just pass, just, just pass. Give me Glow Cosmetics. I'm guessing it's an indie brand. I've never heard from them. And this kind of like super duper, like in your face, pastel-y, this is my vibe. Entering spring and I'm rocking a brown lip. Totally makes sense. Like this pastel vibe, mm -mm, I'm not. By the way, on my eyes is the Auric Eagle. Remember that video I did? I'll link it over here, like me reviewing Auric. I did not use this color, but I'm using it here. I'm zooming guys in a little bit. <laughs> Oof. Ooh. Mm. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Like, look at that. So, like, all around is the cream. Then I used some brown from the Born to Run palette, and then I just hit the center with the topper that goes with it, like the the powder. Ooh. Mm. And I splashed, you know, freckles all over my damn face. It's a thing. It's a okay, so this um, Give Me Glow Cosmetics is gonna be a pass for me. Pixie Cosmetics, I don't know who they are. Honestly, when I, I'm so like, okay, listen, I'm so very narrow-minded when it comes to like the makeup that I go for and I don't adventure out. So this Trixie Cosmetics thingy does not appeal to me in any way, shape, or form. But I, I really wanna... What are like out there brands that you would recommend? Like... Tell me in the comments below, please. Ooh, look at that. So Dior Forever Natural Bronze. She, she. This looks beautiful. However, the range is abysmal. <laughs> oh, 
oh lord i don't know if it's the lighting i don't know what it oh mm, nah sis it's mm. how much are these what? so they're available at douglas oh my god i remember douglas quand j'étais en france ah that's where i bought like my first coal pencil from Lancôme at douglas and this brush actually this is a douglas brush a very old one from 2008 but it is no 2009 but it is a douglas brush anyway Yo, 51 euros 70, c'est cher quand même. Hein? Like 51 euros 77, like that's expensive. Oh, it says it's on sale at 38 euros. Still expensive, I find. But then again, it's Dior, là. it makes sense. But like, so yeah, this Dior, although very cute and looks very velvety, one, I don't trust the packaging. Two, the shade is abysmal. And I'm just like, really, these are the stunts you're pulling? Do they never learn? Like, that's my question. Peace and Patrick's Day. New wishful online Huda Beauty thingy my bobs. I lift. <sighs> Listen, I don't know why, but to me, Huda Beauty is beauty. Like, this whole skincare thing she's going on, like, wishful. I don't know why, like, none of the products, like, I, I look at it and it's kind of like play skincare. Does that mean of me to say that I feel like it's like play skincare? because i really do never have i seen a thing from wishful and i was like oh my gosh i want to get that that's like the exact same reaction i had when i saw jlo coming out with stuff like skincare e thing i was like girl so no wishful pass next is ooh, le neige oh listen le neige drives my soul to the core when i think hydration when i think moisture when I think being drenched in dew and glow, yeah, la neige is where it's at for me. Like, oh, what is this? Lip Treatment Balm by La Neige. A pearlescent daily lip treatment that coats lip and nourishing hydration, visibly smooths lip wrinkle and boosts the look of lip fullness. Pina colada scented. I won't say no to that. Treatment formulated with coconut oil to deeply moisturize and peptide. I swear, when I hear peptide, mm. And denosin. What is endenosin? Does anybody know? To help visibly smooth and firm lip wrinkles, delivers a cooling sensation and help lips look fuller. Plus, the applicator is stored in the lid for cleaner use. It's nice. You see, that was my only problem that I have with the Laneige lip sleeping mask, is you have nowhere to put the little spatula thingy that comes with it. So the fact that this has like a whole storing system, oh my god, I'm definitely gonna be adding this to my cart. <laughs> Okay, y'all know how I feel about the Pat McGrath brightening powder. Listen, that powder is amazing, but the packaging is so shit. And it made me so angry. Did you remember my video where I talked about it? I'll leave a link over here, but oh. Okay, so long story short, a new shade of skin finish sublime perfection blurring under eye powder in yellow. Ooh, that sounds like a vibe. Auntie came up with a new shade, but Auntie decided I will keep that shitty packaging. I don't understand why. <sighs> so unfortunate especially for the price you know it's like 30 dollars and i'm guessing all this is in us dollars on top of it so you know here in canada at canada dollars plus tax geez louise so my thoughts on it is um go watch my video about it nars okay listen okay so this is the thing with nars look at him this way i've never been disappointed in a nars foundation i live for their translucent like that their shimmer like setting powder best damn thing their lipsticks oh my god belle de jour do i need to say more their bronzer not bad at all really not bad at all still undecided about the highlighter i will admit so it's like when it comes to like eyeshadow palette palette and like cheek stuff like oh yeah nars orgasm the blush of course a classic but i don't know why but like anytime they have some kind of like palette or eye something i never tell myself yes i'm gonna get this nars eyeshadow palette like it's never something that crosses my mind so they have like a cheek duo 45 dollars a bronzing cream 38 dollars shade range like it's so weird cream bronzer brush yeah this is like this is long story short i'm gonna pass on this like this does not jive my soul in any way shape or form and it's very interesting because because when it comes to nars i definitely have some staples in that brand but things like this i just eh, nothing it does nothing to me oh you okay youth of the people your, your sleeping mask little ass bottle okay but a little goes a long way it's okay 
when I tell you, like when you apply that before you go to bed and you have like dry skin and you wake up the next morning, it's just, just check it out. Anyway, they're coming out with a new super clay purify and clear power mask. A powerful clay mask with niacinamide that cleanses, visibly reduces pore and complexion and evens the look of skin tone. It uses a blend of sustainable clays to absorb impurities that can trigger breakouts while exfoliating salicylic acid and balancing kombucha. I love kombucha. Do you like kombucha? I love kombucha. I want to try making my own kombucha. A nutrient dense blue algae helps clear skin function at its fullest potential for $36. This looks nice. But the thing is, I'm trying to finish like all my clay masks before I move on to. To a new one so I might add this to my wish list because it's something I might be interested in let's just see let let me just do like one last one and it's going to be this new uh, Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette which is a colorful story with 15 different shades from pastels to vibrant pigments and pearls with different finishes matte shimmers $129 a bag. Nah, you know what? You can charge me $129 for a warm neutral palette. Check my video over here if you haven't seen that video. You can charge me $129 for that. But for all these colors, the way I function and the way my bank account is set up, I cannot spend $129 US on such a colorful palette. It looks beautiful though. It really, really does. But, ooh, ooh. Did I just play myself? Oh, damn. These swatches look beautiful. You know what? No, 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 no. You're not gonna get me. You're not gonna get me with the swatches because that's how I ended up with super colorful palette and I'm not using it and it's just wasteful. So no. Jeez, this is beautiful. No, you're not gonna get me. You're not gonna get me. And on that note, this concludes the video. Will you be picking up any of these? Are there any things that are like jiving your soul i know i saw this somewhere the sephora sale is starting actually i saw this on trend mode the spring saving events is starting for vib rouge aka me april 9th to april 19th for vib it's april 13th oh yeah vib rouge you get 20 percent off a vib you get 15 percent off and that's from the 13th to the 19th of april and beauty insider is from the 15th of april to the 19th of april and you get 10 percent off so those sales are coming so Oh no, before I finish, one last thing. The Fenty Beauty body sauce. I just might. Blurring body thing that enhances the skin you're in with light to medium buildable coverage to even out and instantly blur away the appearance of blemishes and imperfection with a silky texture and transfer resistant formula. Comfortable and smooth to touch. The lightweight gel cream formula blends into skin listen i've been listening to like documentaries in french and i feel like my french accent is peaking in my english and it really bothers me because i'm hearing myself and it's gonna be such a trip when i edit anyway the sun kiss healthy looking radiance contains babassu oil i don't know what that is but there's vitamin e in seven shades 3.21 ounces for $48, not bad. And these look so freaking lush. <gasps> oh, I'm definitely like... And I think they give like a whole charter thingy. Oh yeah, you see, that's what I love with Fenty. They give you like a little chart to be like, listen, if you're between this shade and this shade, this is for you. So I'm Fenty Beauty 300 or 310. And they say that my shade is Agave Spice. Oh, I'm most definitely going to be picking that yeah as i was saying to conclude this video i hope you liked it would you want more of these like more like chit chatty videos i think they're really nice because like you get to hear me just blabber about stuff and it's like we're hanging out and i'm again actually talking so you can like you know just put me in the corner and go about your business and still listen to what i'm saying like more podcasty like anyway i do hope you enjoyed i enjoyed creating this content for you i do hope that you do too and if you do, please uh, subscribe to my channel because that would mean the world to me. And like this video, share, comment, all that good stuff. Talking about good stuff, there are a couple of videos that just popped up on the screen right here. So you should definitely check them out. And I'll see you next Sunday. Bye!